Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the PC program. Um, today we've got a nice quick tutorial on how to speed up and get a really, really high FPS boost out of the infamous Minecraft. Now as you'll probably know, Minecraft is one of those programs that you look at it and you think, oh yeah, that'll run on anything. That'll run on a piece of paper or my mobile phone. It's such bad graphics. Because when you look at it, it's so pixelated and the textures resolution wise are awful however as we all know it does run it's really really hard to get right especially on integrated chipsets so what we're going to go through today is how to get minecraft to run to run i think it's a great fps boost and also it looks much better it actually looks better and you've got that big fps boost there as well okay so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to google it doesn't have to be google your browser and your search engine sorry a bit of dust on the keyboard there and we're going to Google WinRAR, and I'll put a link to WinRAR below. So you're going to click below. Hang on, what have we got there? There we go. So you're going to click below, and you're, you, you should now be on this page. Now, dependent on whether your system is a 32 or a 64, you can find that out by going Start, right-clicking Computer, and hitting Properties, and then looking for your system. Here we go, I've got a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to go for the 64-bit download and that will download and you just hit that it will really really quickly download it's such a small file I think yeah look at that uh, 1600 kilobytes so it's about one megabyte so you hit run and then that's gonna bring up this and you're gonna click install and that's gonna install you click yes blah blah blah, blah check the boxes whatever you need to do and that will do it It says you've got 40 days but when the 40 days is up you don't lose it it just says remember this is not a free product so and so, look, whenever I open up mine, it says that, you just ignore it. So now that's downloaded on your system, you can go ahead and click on link 2, which is a link to OptiFine. <coughs> one, oh, sorry, 1.4.5. And you should be on this page. And now you should scroll down to the bottom, and you can hit the top one. The one where it says HD D4 Ultra. Okay. And you're going to click on it, and it's going to bring you to this page. This is AdFly. This is how you, people shorten their URLs to links. You're going to have to wait five seconds, just the way it works. And then after the five seconds, you're going to hit Skip Ad, and it's going to take you to this. Now, when you're on this, you're going to want to hit this middle one here, Download Optifine, and it will just come up as a zip. Now, because you've already downloaded WinRAR, it'll automatically recognize that this is a zip file, and it will open with WinRAR. Nice and handy, hey? Once you're in WinRAR and you've got all these files open, you'll see there's very many class files. I think they're all class folders, I think. Now, once you've got these, you're going to you're going to drop that down or move it to another screen, whatever you want to do, and you're going to come off of the internet altogether. Now, you're going to want to go to Start, and you're going to if you're on an XP machine or a Vista machine, hit Run. If you're on a Windows 7 machine, go into this search bar and type in percent app data percent. Once you've Oh, I've spelled it wrong, that always helps. Once you've typed that in, you should find you've got roaming. If you're on an XP machine, just hit enter and it'll bring up this. Once you're in this, you can make it full screen like I've just did, but it won't help you whatsoever. You can then go to dot Minecraft, and in there, there should be a folder called bin. Once you're in there, you'll see a Minecraft. You should pro you'll probably see all these, version, MD5, da -da -da -da. not in native, it's not in there. It's just in bin, sitting there, Minecraft. It might say dot jar on your computer dependent on what your settings are now with that you're going to right click it and you're going to go down to open with when you've done that you'll see WinRAR Archiver and you're going to hit that now what you've done is you've opened that jar file with the WinRAR Archiver so now you've got everything that's inside the actual jar folder as you can see there's all my stuff now once you're in here you make it full screen this time it does help so you can see exactly what you've got and you'll probably have a fold. you'll probably have a folder called it won't be called Notepad, I can show you that. It will probably be called meta-inf. Either that or meta.inf, I'm not sure. It's one of them. If you see that, you're going to want to instantly delete it. So you're going to right click it like this. I'm not actually going to delete item, I'm, I'm pretending meta.inf is there. It's actually not there on my system because I've already installed this mod. You're going to right click it and you're going to head down to delete files. Once you click that, you're going to hit yes, oh, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to delete, and then meta.inf is going to be deleted. Once you've deleted it, you can then reopen the Optifine, which is should be still be open in your system on WinRAR, and you're going to scroll to the bottom of 
the minecraft.jar then you're going to reopen Optifine and you're going to highlight everything inside here now what you're going to do is you're going to drag it onto the bottom one or into an open space so where it says zx.class or where there's an open space once you've done that we're, we're just doing it in an open space so it doesn't accidentally drop it in one of the folders because that would be a catastrophe once it's done that you'll be prompted archive name and para parameters you don't need to click anything all you need to do is hit OK and that will begin to then transfer your folders your world.class files into this new uh, location once you've done that you're going to hit the cross you can hit the cross on this and you're going to open up Minecraft and that is the mod installed so we're going to go ahead and open up Minecraft log in ignore this this is just because I've got the pure DB craft texture pack which is the optional link one at the bottom of your screen now sorry if Minecraft disappears it's switching to full screen mode just come out of that Minecraft should now reappear on your screen Okay, now I'm going to hit head into single player and I'm going to show you how good this, in fact this might be a cheat because there's already a world there, let's create a new world, uh, survival, more world options, loud cheats, in fact we can go creative, not super flat, it's a default world, uh, generate structures on, bonus chest done, create that world and you'll see there's a massive FPS boost, now once you're in the world, go no yes no here we go once you're in ah, you can see there I've got a new version available it's the HD HDU D4 once you're in here obviously got my bonus chest which I don't need once you're in here don't worry about the way it looks that's my texture back finally once you're in here you'll you're gonna hit escape and you're gonna go to options when you're there you're gonna hit video settings now you'll see there's loads and loads of video settings and you can you can mess around with them to your heart's content one thing I would recommend is going to fog and hitting off then it won't matter what the fog start is but once you've turned fog off even though your render distance is tiny it looks like it's not tiny because you can't see all that fog right near you see that look see I'm standing here you can't see all the really bad fog around me so if I look at that can't see the fog at all but I've got really really good FPS so if I go to F3 17 FPS uh, I think without Bandicam running, I run at about 52, 53 FPS. But that should still, that is, it, even though it's running at a low FPS, it's not laggy. It completely eliminates the lag, so I'm not lagging here whatsoever. It's running really, really smoothly. Even though the lag meter is fluctuating a bit. But that's just that's just due to Bandicam uh, fluctuating my uh, system and my recording. Okay, so you're just going to fiddle. Hang on, after you get out of You're just going to fiddle around with these settings until you get really what you like and what looks best. I would recommend though animations all off for those really low systems. I would also recommend fast for everything in detail settings. Fog, I would definitely recommend off. All the all the uh, offs in uh, quality performance. Just just have a tweak, tweak it around. If you're going to go in full screen, it always helps to go 800 by 600 or 640 by 480. That always helps your FPS. So I'm just going to turn down that sound a little bit. Sorry if you can't hear me over the sound. Um, there we go. The sound is now off. <clears throat> what you can also do is I'm going to save and quit to title. You can also go ahead and load a texture pack. So if you go to, sorry, it always freezes when I hit done. I have no idea why. I'm really sorry about that. It's don't worry, it won't. It'll only um, temporarily freeze. Okay. Uh, you're gonna go ahead to texture packs and you're gonna hit open texture pack folder. Now when you're there, it'll open this folder and you're gonna go ahead to the description and you're gonna hit link number three. Okay, uh, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I mucked up a little bit there. I'm really sorry about that.
Sorry about that, guys. Had a little mac up with the website there. But here, if you click optional link number one, you're going to be redirected to bdcraft.net. Got to do this really, really quickly. You're going to go to get it, and I would recommend going for either 32 or 64. It's a high resolution text pack. It will look really good. If you're on a good system, you can go for 128. And you just hit 1.4. You just click the download according to your um, according to your version. Click it. Uh, click skip ad when it's done. Click download, and you'll get it here or in your downloads page. And you just put it as as it as a WinRAR file into here. And once you've done that, you can close that down. And Minecraft can still be open, and you'll see it. It will pop up, and you just hit done. Okay. So thank you for watching, guys. This will drastically increase your uh, Minecraft FPS. And honestly, there's no lag whatsoever. It includes the lagometer, I think. When you hit F3, you'll see the uh, the lag and how the FPS fluctuate, fluctuates. It's a really, really good mod. The texture pack also is awesome, as you'll probably see from my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this is the PC program over and